Hi Sagittarius, I'm here to do a reading for you. This reading is just going to focus on what you need to know at this time. Please be aware that the messages, they may or may not resonate. So only take the messages if they resonate. Okay Sagittarius, so let's just see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, what messages do you have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What does Sagittarius need to know at this time? I don't know why I'm getting believe in me. So somebody wants you to believe in them. Or maybe it's that you want somebody to believe in you about something. Okay, somebody could definitely want you to work with them. With the three of pentacles. But maybe they feel like you don't really trust them. Or you don't believe in what they're saying. Sagittarius, let's see here. What does Sagittarius need to know? Sagittarius, someone more than a Venus, Holy Spirit. Yeah, we have here the Ten of Wands. Somebody is carrying a lot of burdens. Um, somebody feels like they're, they're overburdened with work and they possibly could want your help. Or maybe this is you. Okay, with the World card being here. There's a cycle that's coming to an end. So I feel like if you've been working hard towards something, Sagittarius... I'm getting that the end is coming, like, in a good way, though. Like, there's an end to having to work so hard for something. Because you could have been, like, putting in extra hours at work. Um, but whatever you're doing, it's going to pay off. This work that you've been doing is, is completed now. You could be traveling. Maybe you were trying to get everything together for a trip that you're going to have to take. You could be packing to move. Okay, Sagittarius, let's see here. Ooh. We have here the Eight of Swords. Okay. The Ace of Swords and the Seven of Wands with the Wheel of Fortune. I'm just keeping it. I work hard for my money. I don't know. Somebody could feel like this could be you or someone else. Feel like they need to protect their belongings, protect their money. Somebody could have went to a literal jail. Or somebody just feels restricted. Somebody feels like you've shut yourself off to them here, Sagittarius. Whatever this is, there's going to be a change. So there's going to be a swift change to a situation. Tell me more. Yeah, we have here the eight of wands. You're going to be receiving some type of communication. Looks like maybe from another fire sign or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, Queen of Wands. You're going to be receiving some at um some some information from a fire sign. But I'm getting that something is going to be moving swiftly. You're taking action. I'm getting you whatever this is. It's coming in quickly. It's like you could have put in a lot towards something. And it wasn't moving. Now all of a sudden there's like an influx. So there could be like an influx of views if you do something on social media. Or an influx of, of orders if you have like an online business where you sell something. There's just like a, going to be a, something that's going to be coming in quickly. And you're being called to get prepared because it's going to be coming in. I'm getting hot and heavy. So somebody could be coming towards you hot and heavy with a lot of communication. Yeah, because somebody here wants to work with you with the Three of Pentacles. And it showed up in earlier at the bottom of the deck. Somebody is really wanting to work with you here, Sagittarius. They're going to be coming in, letting you know, telling you like, hey, do you want to partner up? I have this idea. Somebody wants you to work with them um, on an idea. Or this could be you. Let's see. Somebody feels like if they don't have you, they're not confident. They're not going to be confident about this. Um, if this is if you're not part of it, it's like you give this person confidence. If you have here the Ten of Pentacles, whatever this is, it fell on the floor, but it's going to be bringing in a lot of money, a lot of abundance here. This could be somebody in your family that's going to be coming towards you. Um, yeah, maybe an Aquarius. Somebody here feels like you're the star. <laughs> With the star being here, literally, excuse this glare, y'all. But somebody feels like you're the star. They want you to work with them. They feel like without you, something is not going to progress. 
Somebody could be wanting to reconcile with you and heal the situation as well. But I'm getting this is work. Somebody's like, look, I got to have Sagittarius on my team. Sagittarius, what's up? Okay, this could have been somebody that you walked away from. Or this someone could be afraid that you're going to walk away. They're all in their head about, okay, is Sagittarius going to walk away from me if I come and present this? Uh, opportunity towards them are they going to walk away or are they going to somebody's just going back and forth in their head this could be an earth sign um a queen of pentacles a taurus capricorn or a virgo this could be a couple because right underneath the queen of pentacles is the king of wands so yeah let's let's get some clarification though what is this ten of wands here for sagittarius I'm getting, um, what's the song? I'm a movement by myself, but I'm a force when we're together. Mommy, I'm good all by myself, but baby, you, you make me better. Somebody feels like you make them better. You make them look good, Sagittarius. Somebody just feel like you make them better, whatever it is that they're doing. Let's see, what is this, Ten of Wands? Yeah, we have here judging you. And with this judging you being here, I feel like this is a positive thing. Somebody is judging you in a positive way. Yeah, they want, look, somebody wants to copy you, but I'm getting they want to work with you. Yeah, I feel like you're vibrating so high, and I feel like your energy is attracting so many people who want to work with you, Sagittarius. This person could be trying to copy you, but it's like it's not working without you. It's like they need you here with this Ten of Wands. It's a burden for someone to try to do it like you. So they need you on the team here. They're like, how can I get Sagittarius to come and work with me? How can I get Sagittarius to get on? Right? What is this Eight of Swords? This person could be afraid to come towards you. We have here negative influence in a new home. So I don't know if you feel trapped in a home situation or there's a lot of negativity in a home, this could be with you or someone else. Tell me more about this negative influence in this home with the Eight of Swords. Yeah, we have here ulterior motive and confidence. Yeah, somebody just, if if you have some issues in your home, somebody's just trying to play on your confidence, trying to make you not feel as confident as you are. Because I'm feeling like you exude confidence. Like, if confidence, if there was a picture of confidence in a dictionary, it would be your picture in there, Sagittarius. Nobody can break your confidence. No negativity, none of that. So if somebody's trying to do it, it's not going to work. What is this Ace of Swords? Yeah, we have here celebrity and beauty. You could be very popular, okay, and very beautiful. Somebody sees you as a celebrity. Somebody, I'm getting all eyes on you, Sagittarius. All eyes on you. Something that you're saying, if you speak for living, our eyes are going to be on you or you could be a model or something you could do makeup there's something about your beauty that's going to be celebrated here Sagittarius what's the seven of wands what's the seven of wands oh yeah you could have somebody that's competition oh we got here a family so you could have somebody in your family competing with you because we got here snakes in your circle and hater and this is clarifying the seven of wands you may need to protect yourself from this family. You could have moved away from a family dynamic. You got somebody in your family that's competing with you, trying to challenge you. They could even be talking shit about you, Sagittarius. This You got a hater in your family. Just know that. But if you ain't got no hater, you ain't pop. But nothing can stop. Nothing can stop what's coming in for you. What's this eight of wands? Something's moving swiftly. Yeah, we have here promotion. I'm telling you, you're going to be promoted. You're going to be getting a lot of views. You're going to be making more money doing something. And there's a friend. There's somebody here that's genuine that really wants to collaborate with you. Tell me about this Three of Pentacles. Yeah, we have here royalty and God's protection. Yes, you, you are royal. Royal, so royal. And I need you in my life. Somebody feel like they need you in their life, Sagittarius. They need this partnership with you. You could, you are, you are protected and divinely guided. God protects you from anybody or, or anything that's trying to 
okay be negative any type of ulterior motives you're being protected from this okay anything that is not of your highest good god protects you from it i'm getting archangel michael what is ten, ten of pentacles yeah new job and happiness you're going to be doing something new. You're going to be getting a new job. It's going to bring you a lot of happiness, a lot of fulfillment, and a lot of financial wealth, financial security. What is the star? Yeah, we have here self-love and moving. Continue to love on yourself. Continue to do the things that you love. I feel like you're moving in the right direction here, Sagittarius. What is this to a wand? Yeah, you could have been finding out about this family, this fake love from this family here. I feel like you're going to be finding out. You could find something on your phone. You could see something that someone types maybe on social media. Give me a sec, y'all. Yes, you, you found out about this fake love from this family. What is this eight of cups? This may, you may have been walking away from this family here. Yeah, we have here eight of artists and friends. So you could have walked away from a friend. What is this eight of cups? Yeah, competition and new car. You could have rolled away from somebody. I feel like you could have had a friend that was competing with you. Or again, this could have been family. You know, you considered this family to also be your friend. These family members. And I feel like they were comp secretly competing with you. They probably were really, really hating on a lot of the newness that was in your life. You could have purchased a new car. Okay, you could have even been getting a new home or something. A lot of, of the new things in your life. You could have had a person in your family. Yeah, they were talking behind your back. They were energy vampires. Okay, Sagittarius. But I feel like you should continue to move in the direction that your heart is leading you. Okay, do the things that you love. Continue to vibe high. I'm getting a, your vibrations. It can be intimidating to to people around you, but it 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 is also drawing towards you genuine people who actually want to work with you, who actually care about you. But I'm getting they need you, Sagittarius. So somebody here is trying to go to the next level with you. Yeah, this could be a friend. This could be someone that you know. Yeah, but I'm getting that is that is someone that God sent sent towards you. Okay, this friend. So let's see. Let's let's look in at your relationships at this time, Sagittarius. Let's see. What's going on with Sagittarius in their relationships at this time? You could have had somebody you were involved with. They could have been trying to make you jealous, or you could have been trying to make somebody jealous here, Sagittarius. I don't know, you probably getting a little bit more cuter and you're doing a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? Putting on a little more makeup or whatever. Yeah, you're the star. It came out again. Sagittarius, you are a star. Somebody sees you as a star. You're beautiful. Okay. And some like again, somebody could fear. Somebody could feel like they're not good enough for you or they're not on your level in some type of way. Somebody probably, I feel like somebody probably wants to approach you, but they feel like they they don't stand a chance with you with this eight of swords being here. Because you see how somebody, they could be talking to me like, go talk to Sagittarius, just go ahead. And they scared. Tell me more. Somebody scared to come approach you, Sagittarius. And yeah, we have here the four of cups because they feel like you're not going to be interested in them. Maybe you're not with the high priestess here. Maybe you're not interested in this person. Maybe you already see them for what they are. Maybe you already know their secrets or you can see through somebody here, Sagittarius. This is why you're not interested. Maybe they did try to talk to you and you just shut them down. Somebody here could be secretly, though, holding on to some type of feelings towards you. What is this high priestess? Oh, yeah, I'm telling you, somebody that you ended things with, this could be a Scorpio, they really want a new beginning with you, a new passionate beginning with you here, Sagittarius. They really do. Let's see. Yeah, we have here the Seven of Swords reverse. They like, I ain't no more lies. Look, if it was some type of lies, it came out, but somebody is like, um, I feel like somebody is not sneaky. 
If they were, they're not. The Seven of Swords literally came out in reverse, y'all. And I like to see the Seven of Swords in reverse. They like, please, I can be, I want to be your man. I want to be your man. Or your girl. But I'm getting that this is somebody that, you know, they really want to come towards you. They're afraid. They feel like, oh, Sagittarius ain't going to want to talk to me. <laughs> Yeah, we have here the Page of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Maybe you were communicating with this person. If you do, if you communicate with this person, like if you respond to their text messages, it makes them so happy to be around you, to talk to you. You make somebody so happy. Look at them on this picture. Let me cater to you, because baby, this is your day. Somebody wants to cater to you. Sagittarius. I'm getting this is some this is something that's trustworthy. Like somebody is. Somebody's trustworthy. Let's see. Yeah, five of cups. Well, the fortune. Somebody is going to regret. Somebody's like, I regret not talking to Sagittarius. I regret. Maybe someone lied. Like this could be a past person. It doesn't necessarily have to be. But they could have lied and they regret it. Or they regret not taking a chance with you. Somebody regrets not moving towards you, Sagittarius. What is this, guys? There could be something. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles in reverse with the Ten of Swords. And I don't know, y'all. I just noticed this. There could be something in between you and someone else. Because there's a man on this side and a woman on this side. And then you got this in, in between them. And they like blowing kisses. So I don't know if maybe one of you guys were already in a relationship that needed to end. But it's like you, you both. I feel like you both could be interested in each other but not saying anything about it. There was some type of ending. Some type of ending maybe to someone's money. Because the Ace of Pentacles reverse could be... Um, the ending of money, of money. Somebody also could have had a miscarriage if you did. My condolences, okay? There could have been an ending to a pregnancy as well. Let's just tell me more. Yeah, we have here the moon and the six of cups. Somebody secretly is so fond of you. And I feel like they don't say anything. Somebody is like, oh my God, I love Sagittarius. How do I tell them? Somebody really, really... It's funny, this could have been somebody from your past with the nine of, pen, nine of pentacles. This could have been a Virgo. Okay. Somebody is like, um, oh, how do I, how do I approach this goddess, this queen, or this king? How do I approach them? Somebody don't know. I'm only going to clarify a few. Because I just want to see, like, why is the Seven of Swords in the first? I'm getting, I'm getting that Whitney Houston song, y'all. I wanna run to you, just hold me in your arms and keep me safe from harm. If, if you're a man watching this, you can have a woman that feels so safe with you. They feel like they want, you can protect them here. Yeah, we have here faithful. Sagittarius, y'all have somebody coming towards y'all that's going to be faithful. I'm clarifying this seven of swords in reverse. Maybe you were used to being in situations where people weren't faithful. Maybe you were d dealing with the Taurus. Okay, this could be a Taurus, or maybe you hooked up, or somebody that you was hooking up with. Tell me more about this Taurus and hooking up. Yeah, low standards. This is another man. So, you could have been with a Taurus that was sneaky, but this new person here, it could be somebody new. I feel like they, they're different. They're faithful. What is this Ace of Pentacles reverse? What we have here is secret lovers and single. So, this could have been... A secret lover here that maybe you were dealing with when you were single like maybe you secretly are but I'm also getting somebody is secretly in love with you tell me about the secret lovers and singles 
Yeah, we have your late night calls and texts and wants you in them too and all. This is somebody that you were involved with, some type of secret lover. I don't know, is this situation turning into something where you guys are going to be faithful to each other? Where you guys no longer have to hide your situation. Maybe y'all waited for something to end. Maybe you guys ended the relationship for some of y'all. So for some of y'all, we I have someone, like if y'all not in no secret lover type of situation, there's someone who really likes you that could be afraid to come towards you because maybe they feel like you're not going to um, like them. They could feel like you're too good for them or some type of, someone could be not confident that you're going to talk to them. But for some of y'all Sagittarius, you guys were in a secret love relationship with someone and there was something that maybe both of you guys were in a relationship that needed to come to an end. But I feel like something is ending so that you guys can be together. What is this five of cups? Here we have your bugaboo and sad dude. So maybe you were the one in a relationship, Sagittarius. Maybe you ended this relationship to be with this secret lover here. Because with this death card, y'all, I never noticed this couple at the bottom. And they blowing kisses to each other, but it's something in between the two of them. What is this page of wands? Yeah, one night only, and I choose you. Somebody is choosing you, or you're choosing someone. Okay? Someone doesn't want to just be with you at night, or only one at night. Because somebody here only can text you at night, talk to you at night, meet with you at night. What is this star? Yeah, caught up and for life and forever. Somebody that got caught up. They is in love with your ass, Sagittarius. I don't mean no <laughs> Or you got caught up. You in love with somebody. Yeah, we have here. Ooh, I'm addicted to having sex with you. I'm not going to put it in the camera. But then we have here intentionally holding back. Yeah, somebody feels like you could intentionally held back from them. But I feel like it was because either you or them, y'all were in something else. Yeah, look, oh my God, y'all. We do have fake friends, family, and jealous friends and family involved. But y'all, we got a lot coming out. Oh my God. We got here fatal attraction, breakup separation, making contact, selfish. Somebody is selfish over you. They obsessed. Okay? They want you to move on and be with them. Somebody wants you to leave whatever you're with or whoever you're with or whatever you're in to be with them. And this could be you want somebody to do this to you. And they're going to they gonna make contact and look, say, look, I want you all to myself. I'm selfish. You need to break up because I want you. If I can't have you, then this person can't have you either. This person is like, if you don't move on, I'm going to make you move on. Somebody like, I'm going to make your ass move on. What's the... <laughs> Sagittarius, what did y'all do to this person? Yeah, we have here awakening. Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. Somebody has awakened to something. Passion. Try something you've never done before. Somebody might do something, y'all. Somebody may want to awaken... Someone to this connection. Like if you choose to. Like say you're in a relationship Sagittarius. And you got somebody on the side. And they like listen. I want to be with you. I don't want you to be with this person no more. You love me. And they like I'm about to awaken this person. To what we got going on. <laughs> yeah we have your intuition. You already know. You already know the answers that you see. We have your trust. It's safe to trust this in this situation. Yeah, we have here a spiritual lesson. This person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. So maybe this is you going through this spiritual awakening, this spiritual transformation. This is giving Scorpio energy, but you may not be dealing with the Scorpio. But you guys have a lot of chemistry together. The attraction that you feel with this person is mutual. They're very attracted to you. Very, very attracted to you. And I feel like they don't want to... Be without you anymore. They don't want to share you. Or you don't want to share this person with somebody else. Okay. So let's just close out this reading y'all. The signs that I see here. Taurus did come out. But I also see Pisces. Cancer. Aquarius. Okay. Scorpio. Scorpio. 
So let's get, I'm going to pull from two decks to close out your reading, two oracle decks. Um, let's get Holy Spirit. What else does Sagittarius need? We have here work and forgiveness. So I'm going to read these to you. Let's see. So I'm going to start with number 40, work, because that came out. It says, work should complement your personality and feed your soul. Do you yearn for something more fulfilling? What about that wonderful talent you put aside to earn a living? It's possible to earn your living by doing something that suits your personality. Being happy at work is more important than how much you make. Money tends to show up in magical ways when you do what you do best. Be open to opportunities to use your talents and follow your passion. I am happy with my work and receive excellent pay. So Sagittarius, you're being called to do what you're passionate about. And again, I'm getting once you start, you're going to attract somebody. This could be something you're already doing, but you, you're going to attract someone Who's going to want to work with you because you're so talented. Okay, there's something that you do. I'm getting that you're special, you're unique, you're beautiful, and you're a star. And somebody's going to want to work with you. Like you have a star quality, Sagittarius, that I feel like you don't even see it. But everyone else around you does. And some people love it and some people hate it. Okay, so we're going to go to forgiveness. Number 49. We have here all that remains of the past are memories. It's time to let go of worry and self-recrimination for what went wrong. When these thoughts arise, take a deep, few deep breaths and go with it for a minute to find the root of underlying pain. Surrender this pain to the infinite spirit. Forgive everyone involved, including yourself. Karma will take care of any transgressions far better than you can. Forgiveness will heal and harmonize your mind, body, and soul. And there's an affirmation. I choose to live my life filled with goodness and mercy, forgiving everyone and everything, including myself. So you're being called Sagittarius if you're holding on to anything someone did to you or anything that you felt like you've done. You're being called to forgive yourself or forgive this person. All right. The past is now behind you. Period. Okay, Sagittarius. So let's get an African goddess rising. My favorite deck. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Holy Spirit. I have a sign card that I picked up. I picked up my sign cards too, y'all, by mistake. <laughs> let's see. Make sure there's nothing on in there. Oh, it's one in here. Let's see what this sign is. Leo. You could have been connected to a Leo because it's stuck in the deck. <laughs> let's see. Holy Spirit. What other messages do you have for Sagittarius. That Leo could have been the one that betrayed you with the spider. You could have saw a spider. Let, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, Sagittarius. Yes. Okay, okay. First of all, I don't take these cards in reverse, but I don't believe that things happen in coincidence. This resistance card came out in reverse. You're no longer resisting who you are. You're no longer res resisting the God, God is nature within you. You're shining. Because shine came out in the upright. Your creativity. You're so creative. Okay, you could have a sister that's jealous of you. Okay, because it says seven sisters. But I'm going to read this card. But first let me tell you what. Okay, I'm not going to read the resistance card. But if you follow my ch channel. And you watch my videos. This resistance card came out a lot. Because many of you, whether you're Sagittarius watching this or not, you guys resist the beautiful force that you are. You resist shining. I'm a, matter of fact, I'm going to read resistance. Because I'm telling you, this was what you were doing that you're no longer doing. It says you are scared that you're going to mess it all up. You may have stumbled, but this is a new day. Learn to show up for yourself. You ghost your dreams and resist your own magic. But you're not doing that anymore. It says, stop holding back, worrying, and pretending to seek perfection that ne will never come. When it comes to your greatness, resistance keeps you stuck. When it comes to stepping into your greatness, resistance keeps you stuck. 
Resistance block growth, creativity, and which is here, and evolution. Resistance may look like procrastination, laziness, disorganization, excuses, and lack of motivation. But there are deeper forces at play. You are resisting the force you really are. And what I'm telling you is, this came out in reverse. You're no longer resisting the force that you are here. You're no longer stuck. All blocks are removed. You are growing. You are creative. You're tapping into your creativity right now. Okay? You're showing up for yourself. And you look good doing it, honey. I'm just here to tell you. I'm going to go ahead and read creativity because I'm being called to read that first. It says, create, create, create. You come from conjurers and creators. Your blood remembers. Use your gifts to multiply your magic. You are a cosmic creatrix and a creative force. And force has, you are a force to be reckoned with. I'm telling you, Sagittarius, you are a divine nation within one person. How creative do you allow yourself to be? Break out of your comfort zone and into your creative fertility. You have the power that creates planets. So yes, you are creative. No one else's opinions matter here. Let your inner child let your inner child play to awaken your creativity. Creating is birthing is manifesting. And there's a goddess declaration. I am a creative visionary. And again, Sagittarius, your visions are going to manifest rapidly. If you continue to press forward and continue to do the things that you love and continue to be who you are, stop resisting who you are, you're going to shine like no other. You're going to shine like no other. I'm just, I'm thinking, I might name your reading that. Number 32, you could be 32. It says you were born to shine, be seen, be heard, be a movement. Then I say, I'm a, I'm a force. What do you say? I'm a movement by myself, but I'm a force when we're together. Mommy, I'm good all by myself. Let me tell you something. You may partner up. Y'all, you going to partner up with somebody. Y'all, y'all going to be unstoppable. But let me keep reading. I'm sorry. It says, you were born to shine, be seen, be heard, be a movement. We need to know your name. We want to learn your dance. Okay, so you could be a dancer. It says, daring to rise and shine starts with the courage to be seen and heard. Your story matters and someone needs to hear it. Fear of shining brightly keeps you in the shadows, hiding and shrinking. There is no way to claim your voice and avoid rejection, criticism, and judgment. But you are not for everybody. If everyone likes you, you are not really being you. And there's a goddess the declaration. I am ready to be seen and be, and be heard. And for many of you guys, you are being seen. You are being heard. And there's someone who wants to work with you. Okay, Sagittarius. So, I really hope that these messages help you. If they did, please like, share, and subscribe. I love you, Sagittarius. Bye.